Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you this new embedding model from Nomic, which is multilingual. When we say an embedding model, it is a type of model that converts text, images or other data into numerical representations or numerical vectors that are also called as embeddings. These embeddings capture the semantic meaning of the data. These embeddings enable these models to understand and process complex data in a more efficient and meaningful way than we have seen them in action in various videos, especially when it comes to RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. The great thing about this new model from Nomic is that it is multilingual. Look at this diagram and the coverage of languages. I believe they are covering more than 100 languages here. They have even languages from the re very, very remote parts of the world. For example, look at this Pashto language, which is widely spoken in the Northwest Pakistan and various parts of Afghanistan. Then look at this serbio croatian Igbo, Maori, which is a uh, indigenous language in New Zealand and few other parts of the Pacific Rim. Samoan, Yiddish, Soto and Tagalog and if you come here there is uh, well-known languages like Arabic, Hindi, Chinese and national languages of few of the countries. And I'm just looking through the languages look at Sindhi. This is in India and Pakistan quite widely spoken. Kyrgyz is there. So I think most of the languages they have covered and I'm really really quite excited about. Uh, the coverage of languages for this model. Now, this model is a state-of-the-art embedding model that also leverages the mixture of expert architecture. So there are two, um, I would say, salient features of this model, this language coverage and mixture of expert architecture because I don't think so. I have seen any model yet which is not only multilingual but also mixture of expert when it comes to embeddings. So it looks pretty cool. We are going to install it locally and then we will see it in action to see how it works. As I said, it's a mixture of expert which primarily in simple words means that it dynamically routes input to different experts or sparse subsets of parameters to reduce computational cost and improve efficiency. And uh, language coverage you already know and there are few benchmarking information which they have shared like this where it has excelled on this BEIR and Miracle benchmarks and outperformed other models in its parameter class by a huge margin. Another cool thing about this model is that it incorporates Matryoshka representation learning that allows for dimension truncation from 768 to 256 dimensions without compromising embedding quality. Model size is just 475 million parameter with only 305 million active during training and inference. So that is pretty cool, I would say. Let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50%. So have fun and use their GPU cards VM on fraction of cost. And this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda. While that happens, let's talk a bit more, more about this model because I think the model looks quite good. Now, this is not the first time I'm covering this embedding models. In fact, when they released their first models more than a year ago, I covered that. And uh, to be honest, I found at that time, as you can see on your screen, that was the best embedding model in the world, even more than a year ago when they released it. They have also released it in Vision and then a lot of other models, variants they have released and I have done dozens of videos from various angles on these economic models so do check them out and i believe they're also available on uh, in the contest format from various providers which you can check out the uh, applications of these models are very very wide which i will be discussing shortly uh, meanwhile 
my Conda environment is created so I'm just going to create some of the prerequisites like torch and transformers so coming back to this model as I said this model could be used for semantic search like rag retrieval augmented generation where you provide a grounded or your own data to LLMs and then you can leverage it for various NLP tasks because of its multilinguality especially when it comes to sentiment analysis so quite a powerful and uh, efficient model I would say let's see how it performs in the real world while we test it now and let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video meanwhile who are iGenBot iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description Okay, let's go back to see what is happening almost there okay next up let's launch our Jupyter notebook and now let's first download the model so you can see that we are importing this torch and the functional API of torch and then the transformer with the auto model and tokenizer libraries and then we are downloading both the tokenizer and this model and as I said the model is fairly small it already has been downloaded okay so next up let's check out how to use this model now let's spend a minute on this code as what exactly is happening here you see that for the testing we have just defined two documents here in this list with uh, English hello and Spanish hola and then we have defined this mean pooling function now here mean pooling is being used to combine the token embeddings generated by the model into a single vector representation of the input sentence and the resulting mean pool vector representation captures the semantic meaning of the input sentence and that is where we can use it later on as you can see it is returning it then we are encoding it through tokenizer so that model would understand we are putting the model in evaluation mode so that we would know what is happening and then model is generating the output and we are printing as uh, the embedding or the vector representation so now let's run it to see what happens and this is the output which we have received now this output is a PyTorch tensor representing the mean pooled embedding of the two input sentences this and this so the tensor shape here is uh, 2 into 768 as you can see and these dots mean that it goes on and on but there are 768 and 2 represent the number of input sequence this and this whereas 768 represent the dimensionality of the embedding which means number of features in terms of model so embedding values uh, each row here this and this that uh, represent the mean pooled embedding of a sentence with value ranging from minus 1 to 1 these values capture the semantic meaning of the sentence and then 768 dimensions of the embedding represent different aspect of sentence meaning such as semantic relationship between words syntactical stru structure or contextual information and we can use it for different uh, purposes in the context of rag or any other use case and in order to check the multilinguality i have just picked up sindhi language and with google translate i have converted the word happy and then angry so this is happy i think it says Hushtio. and this is the angry which i can't pronounce and it has generated these embeddings let me quickly check the vram consumption too it is not even using any vram it is simply on cpu and it is quite fast i would say okay let's check out a um, few more languages like uh, i'm just going to go with next i have picked up this marathi language which is from india and i believe from their maharashtra province and this word means happy and this word means angry and of course if you are that native uh, native speaker also enlighten us so let me run it and look at the speed that's it it's already done on cpu and the embedding similarities look quite good they are a bit off so which is quite good they are not similar so the answer is right okay so let's try out one more and now let's try out Turkish one again happy and angry so they are not similar so let's run it yep look, looks quite good to me 
and next i'm checking arabic so this one means happy said and then i think the waf means wedding so they are a bit similar so embeddings have changed yep looks good okay so that is nice and then finally i am trying out yiddish so again this is uh, i believe uh, word is happy the first one the other one is wedding so let's try it out yeah spot on so look um, model looks really amazing in multilinguality and mixture of expert and that has really improved the speech and efficiency let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching